Hey, what's up, everyone? Eric Rasser, the guy with the eye here. And I wanted to react to something. It was kind of a call out to friends of Mark here uh, for the photo video show. And it's about the Sony A6000 battery issue. We have it exposed. We have a fix for it. And I'm really just here to validify it and just show you uh, that I've experienced this problem as well. Let's get into this right now. So I actually didn't really know about this fix and I've noticed that my batteries drain so fast in my own Sony a6000 I could literally leave it at hundred percent uh, fully charged and I wanted to shoot the next day and I'll go in and all of a sudden my battery is at like 75 or 80 percent so my mind was always baffled about why the hell is it doing that well mark from the photo video show uh, made a video about the a6000 battery drain and the fix for it so all the credit goes for the uh, goes to him for this so uh, he as I said he wanted to uh, he at the end of the video he wanted people to uh, really just validify it see if it's a fix if it happens and just give their thoughts on it so the uh, the link and the full explanation everything will be down in the description below to his channel and to this video so definitely go check that out to see it more in depth and just to show him some love but uh, I absolutely experienced this problem as well and the fix he did and I'll show it real quick too uh, absolutely blew my mind it helped out I was able to go into New York and I was able to fully shoot with a very very charged battery and essentially the problem comes with the electronic viewfinder and when you go to put it up to your face with your Sony a6000 it switches from the back screen to the electronic viewfinder automatically there's a little sensor and I'll show you real quickly uh, on my iPhone so we'll jump into that right now but essentially what it does is it's always looking and it's monitoring automatically whether it should be viewing in the back screen or the electronic viewfinder. Let me give you the example. So you see me kind of right here in the reflection. I'm just going to show you what the problem is. So essentially it's reading for trying to determine if it should be viewing through the back screen or through the monitor with these little sensors right here. There's like a strip of three sensors. So as you go into that and into the other, it tries to determine which way it should display the video. Well, the easiest fix for that is that this is to turn that off and to pick whichever one you want it to be because it's just going to keep doing that. And essentially, even though you have the camera off, it is constantly determining which one it wants to view. So it's as simple as going to your menu. So it's going over to your little cog option right here and going over to your third option right here. And it's your viewfinder and monitor automatically. And I do agree with Mark that if there was a firmware update, uh, you could eliminate this because I don't think it's the smartest thing to have at all. It is automatically set on auto. So that way, if it's on auto, it will determine which way it should do. So you can either have it towards just the viewfinder or just does the monitor or the back frame right here. That's how I set it and that's how I like it. So you make sure to not have this issue uh, or if you do to change it to go from auto and pick which one you want here and that's it that's the simple fix and it's just something extremely easy to do so that's all i got right here quick video aside this is the issue exposed once again check out more information and more details in uh, mark's channel uh, once again the link to this video and his channel will be down in the description below check it out and once again this could be your serious issue especially if you have cameras that are similar and it has a monitor in regards to viewing in between both Maybe a Fuji camera or something like that. You never know. There it is. It's exposed. It's busted. It's absolutely real. And it sucks. It's absolutely stupid that I would do that. But now we know. See ya.